Hi everyone, welcome back. This is a quick video, um, mainly to let you guys know that I've been waiting for sort of over a year and a half, maybe a bit longer, um, for Android to come to the Steam Deck. Now, I, every so often, every other week, I'm searching, you know, uh, what's the latest state of it, um, what's not working, what is working, and I found an XDA post uh, about this where a developer, I'll put his name up here somewhere, um, a, d a few developers were working, bringing, from the Linux side, they were bringing the drivers over to Android. Um, then they merged them into the brand new, uh, latest build of Bliss OS. This video is testing Chrome OS, uh, which is, I don't know, 90% there. The only thing that doesn't work are the controls. Um, and I'm then going to test Bliss OS and we'll see if that's working um, because I'm filming this intro after uh, the actual testing I, I know it already is um, so spoiler alert but definitely just watch that little bit because you can see how good and how far Android to the Steam Deck has come um, there's, there's not any other videos about this so I'm going to be one of the first to actually talk about it so yay me um, and yeah this is just this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. I've got a few planned out um, for some stuff that I'm doing. I've changed the name of the channel. Um, originally the channel was linked to the business, uh, Simple Tech Solutions, uh, but I've decided to just separate them slightly um, for, for a few reasons. Um, mainly I want to focus on the channel as a separate endeavor. Um, the business, you know, that's separate in the sense of uh, I have liability and all of these things that go with the business. Uh, the YouTube side, I want to kind of keep more to my personal uh, home lab and, and things I do here. Um, so the channel is now Core Computing. Um, I've thrown around a few names, maybe Core Computing Lab. Uh, if you've got any suggestions, that would be uh, great. And I'd love to hear your feedback on that. But I'm just going to focus on the channel as a separate endeavor and grow it uh, separately. So yeah. Good news, I'll see you all in the next one. So in an attempt to um, get Android working on the Steam Deck, uh, I've found uh, that the Fido OS now supports um, AMD processors. So I thought, well, do you know what? I'll give it a shot and see if it works. Now, ah, the touch works. Hey, hey, hey. I think we're gonna be in with a bit of luck here. Um, do the controls work? Now that's the other thing. No. Oh, 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 oh. They do. At least the um, D-pad works. Does the mouse work? And the mouse. This is going to be interesting. So I'm going to whiz through this. Because uh, I, I, I want English UK. English. I'm, there's actually no videos about this. I'm really surprised. Um, yeah, I'm really surprised there's no videos about this. Let's do try Fido S. Or maybe we can even go back and install it to the S. D card. No, let's just do for try five of us. Let's see, that's good. Just deleting all the partitions. Right, what I'll do is I'll pause it here and come back in a second when um, it's finished installing. 
So I've managed to sign in. Um, it's surprising how much is actually how much is working. Uh, the trackpad works, touchscreen works, um, the D-pad works, the um, buttons here work, um, speakers work. I think everything works apart from the analog sticks. Um, the buttons on the back work. So. You know, this could be really interesting for a, f a few reasons. Um, if you've got games, specific games that are only uh, D pad heavy, you know, then, and, or on an Android, but you want them to be on the Steam Deck, then having them run on Chrome OS might be an idea. Um, th this was really just a test case, you know, just to see what it would be like. And. It, also, I've managed to get an on-screen keyboard by using the accessibility menu. Um, you can then have an on-screen keyboard working. Um, so, yeah, this is this is quite interesting. I know the glare's bad. Let me just switch off. Uh, the glare's so bad. I've got a bit of a leak in the garage on the front door. So, apologies if the Oh, that's awful glare on that screen. I'm trying to not lean it on this because this is the keyboard. I wonder if it's... See, I'm automatically going down there to pull the brightness. Yeah, the, the buttons here work as well. So brightness, turn down, up, uh, volume, up. Um, Bluetooth as well. Bluetooth seems to work. Uh, found by Samsung Monitor, so that's good. It's practically everything. It's the it's just the analog sticks. Now I did see a setting within settings that mentions. See what? I'm, let me just move. Um, I thought it just stood up on its own. So let me go to another quality bad. So you might have to try and just make out some of some of this. It's the it's the glare. The camera's not picking it up very well. Settings settings. Oh, this is Android settings. Now. It works in Chrome OS, yes, but that's not going. To, well, it is working in Android to some extent. Let's see if, and the D-pad is working in the Android subsystem, so that's good. It's a good sign. Um, it's asking me to reboot, so let's reboot it. Now this is just installed on the SD card, mainly because I wanted to test it out, see what worked and didn't work, um, and then, you know, go from there. Okay, so that's the Google Play Store uh, working. Um, I've noticed that on this re reboot, the touch, you have to push it down slightly harder, but that's fine. Um, as we can see, the touch is working within Android. Um, so I need something to test the game. Um, just something to test a game. The so, OS at all. The IDs are completely different. I did try and flash the IDs, uh, but my card isn't a flashable card, so it wouldn't work. So the um, Sound isn't working yet on the Steam, Steam on the Steam Deck, but it is working for Bluetooth. So I guess if you had to use Bluetooth, you would, um, you know, uh, just for sound, you would have to use headphones. But yeah, I'm gonna shut this down now because I don't think uh, Call of Duty is going to load. I mean, I might have a miracle and it will, but. I don't think it will, mainly because it only accepts certain types of controllers anyway. Um,
So what I'm going to have to do is just upload this as, a, as just rough uh, edit. Uh, this is mainly just to let you guys know, anyone who has a Steam Deck, uh, Android is working. Now, as far as performance testing and uh, the intricacies of that, I'm, it, that's going to take a bit more time. But I'm just making this video to let you guys know, Android Bliss OS team it's fantastic they've done a great job with this um, so yeah download it test it and then any bugs or anything like that definitely send it to the bliss os team uh, but great work uh, to bring android to the steam deck so this is just a rough edit um, but it's working so uh, this is now going to get installed on my main uh, drive which is a terabyte I'm going to be downloading games, um, in fact I need to actually stop that download because it's in it's in live mode, so it'd be like, it'd be so slow, um, so I need to cancel that and then install, install it fully, but yeah, touch is working, I've not tested sound yet, uh, but I imagine from reading the XDA post that sound is going to be working as well, so um, it's not major, I mean more than likely Bluetooth is working, you can Bluetooth your headset, but this is good stuff. So this is uh, Bliss OS, um, now this is the, the Bleeding Edge latest release. I did read that the uh, drivers have been um, sort of baked into the kernel. Now I might have to shut this down and just quickly connect a keyboard. But so far this is good, I mean the, the touch screen is working. Um, there is another version which is called the unofficial and I do have that and that apparently has more drivers sort of baked within the kernel. Um, so I'm, I'm going to test this first. If I don't have any luck with it then I'll use the unofficial one. Uh, the XDA forum um, you can read here, it's a full post, I'll leave the link in the description. Um, where they're talking about the exact drivers that are that are in. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm filming this on my phone. Um, if we go to the uh, GitHub um, repository, yeah. So this is some of the work that's being done. Um, the display. Uh, let me just see. The unofficial Steam Deck Bliss OS test team. They're the guys who are uh, doing this at the minute. Uh, the 1416 image, uh, the audio driver, speaker. So yeah, there's there's a lot of work being done to try and bring Android to the Steam Deck. Um, so I'll just go. No, in fact, I go back. Let me. No, I am gonna set up Wi-Fi. I know it's like the keyboard's not coming up. So let me shut this down and then refilm. So there's currently a bit of a, a bug with the UEFI system, um, so it will let you install, it will ask you to uh, select a an EFI, so you basically create the partition, uh, change the type to an EFI, but when you reboot you'll get an error saying that there's no boot manager. A way around this that I've done is to install the exact same operating system uh, to the SD card and then boot off the SD card and what will happen is it will come up with the list of options and at the bottom it will say um, GPT HD which means this after you've installed it so if I go to uh, settings again so there storage so 49 gigabyte used um, 1 terabyte I, I think I've I've not quite done the partitions correctly um, so that's maybe why I'm having an error, but I'll try and get a screenshot of the error. I'll take out the SD card just so that you can just so that you can see it. Um, but yeah, everything is working. If we go to uh, the Play Store, so yeah, this is um, this is very good. That works. This works, and this is the official build. I do have um, a build that I've downloaded that is the unofficial version, um, but like I said, reading through the changelog, it looked like they had uh, basically submitted all of the um, changes into the kernel itself. I was just going to download it, 
game. There we go. So if I do, uh, let me do it on this hand so you can see. I need to download a keyboard as well. So yeah, I'm really, really happy. Now, the other thing is, we might still need a screen mapper because Call of Duty only accepts um, Xbox, PlayStation, and a few others. Um, yeah, Xbox, PlayStation, Backbone, and uh, Razer, I think. So we, we still might need a, a keyboard. Um, but I'm interested to see what the performance is like. So it looks like the controls are working. Yep, that's working. Skid's working. Perfect. And boost, I see. Yep, boost is working. Boost, skid. Bit um a bit laggy, but that's probably because I'm just downloading stuff. Um but this is amazing. This is Android running on the uh, Steam Deck, finally. Come on. Boost, boost. Yeah, so I don't know if it's laggy because I'm downloading or if it's laggy um, because of the system. But yeah, I'm very, very impressed with this. So I just wanted to finish with them, um, finish with this and you know if you have any uh, ideas of fixes and stuff like that please get in touch with the uh, Bliss OS team but well done well done team this is great so yeah right so I need an update to play services So it's updating player services. So yeah, I'm gonna finish with that. Um, but yeah, absolutely fantastic. The only thing to look out for is that UBFI um, problem. I'm gonna do a bit more research into that and see how I can fix it. Um, if you have any suggestions, uh, please let me know.